looking forward to seeing I there you go. One thing that has to be sacrificed, unfortunately, is the resolution of uh, the video files. Brad with a knife, hey! tutorial. When you start a new game, the tutorial starts with it. Okay. Hi, Kanoko. It's me, Shinatama. I've checked our neural link and it's working perfectly. I'm so excited. Commander Griffin has authorized us to run through TCTF training program Data 6. That means you're almost ready for field missions. We're almost ready for field missions, guys. Alright, so I was really blown away the first, the first time I saw this. Because it sort of reminds you of controlling Lara in Tomb Raider, but it's much more refined. You use Wasta. And use the mouse to move around. The way it's designed is really minimalistic because obviously most of the hey dry hey how are you doing? Uh, most of the horsepower the, that the engine puts into rendering stuff is uh, dedicated to interpolating the keyframes because when we start doing stuff you see that the animation on Kanoko is really smooth and really nice so everything else seems a bit uh, a bit minimalistic and simple but it's really nicely designed we'll use the track for the dash training sequence the dash training sequence you better warm up okay so this is normal running just pressing forward and this That's is dashing The loudest. Yeah, so we can't sneak in this game. Now dash along the wall of the room until you reach the end of the track. Whoop. Still have to get used to the mouse sensitivity. That completes our basic movement Yeah. There's no way to adjust mouse sensitivity. <laughs> and I'm just using the lowest DPI on my mouse and a little bit of a tweak and wine to make stuff work. Exercises. If you want to review your movement techniques, go to the data console you passed. Through. It's teaching us about basic interaction. Joe fifty five, hey, how are you doing? Okay, so was the tap to dash control to activate. Simple enough. When you're ready, we can move to the next room. All right. Now we can practice some basic jumping techniques. Yay, we can jump. There we go. That's fine. Almost. You have to hold it down. Hold down uh, holding down space really makes you jump higher. Using Q to pick up stuff. So this is a, if we compare, this is a quick tap, and this is, oh, hold down. Napping on the couch, well that sounds pleasant. 
Did you finish Grim Fandango? Uh, no, we finished year three yesterday. And I think I'm gonna try to finish year four next Sunday. I'm just taking a quick break because Monday streams are gonna be intermittent. I never really have that much time on Mondays. Well done. Advanced movement training. So we can now use shift to crouch. Oh. But I thought you might like to watch this. Something else happening down there. One of the combat practice programs in the now, let's see how this unfolds, because the to watch. Uh, from time to time, the training sequence... There are a couple of scenarios for it. Either the trainee wins against the drones, or uh, she doesn't. <laughs> She seems to be doing fine. Yeah, I think she's gonna win. Yeah, there you go. Now we can practice some of those moves too. Let's start with sneaking. There you go. That's sneaking. Now let's try some acrobatics. Okay. Some acrobatics. Look at the frame interpolation. Look at how smooth character movement is. This was really something that blew your mind when you saw it for the first time. At least it did mine. There you go. Oh. Lasers. Oh, almost. Enemies can be knocked down by sliding into their legs. Escape moves are a good way to. No, I didn't manage to say this today. Well, the vod is up. I I also uploaded um the thing to YouTube. I'm right now. What I'm doing is um I'm essentially just cutting down um the beginning and end bits and uploading them to YouTube for archival purposes. So you can catch it there as well. Let me see if you should be able to see my YouTube link somewhere in there. And I think I made a command for it at some point, but I can't remember right now. Right now. <laughs> a devote is still up on stream in any case. Okay. Yeah, using jump flips is really a nice way to to attack somebody. Let's see if we can jump flip. Yay! Let's learn the basics of hand to hand combat. Good. Try throwing two punches quickly. Start the second punch, the second punch yeah, combos. From the first, wasn't it? I don't remember a lot of the, the specific of combo combos here. Combos link attacks together in a sequence. You can use it for a character from one game and it'll be fine. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Look at it. Look at the amount of animation you have in there. The interpolation between... There's something like 25 basic positions that, uh, the, that the body can occupy. And the interpolation between them is really, really nice. Let's see if we can do this. There you go. Super. I think all the keys are unlocked at this point. The tutorial sort of unlocks them for you. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I seem to be remembering some of this. There you go. <laughs> the thing about throws is it's really poor training your own. <laughs> yeah, they're okay. It's their loss in life. <laughs> oh, he fought back there. Unless you're facing the opponent directly, uh, and if you press it just a bit too soon, you just attack. Yeah. Okay. Let's carry on. This training drone will help you learn about blocking attacks. See the border on the floor around the drone. Can you guess how blocking works? Oh, look, we got a visitor. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. This is Dracula, and he's a bit antsy right now. Stream cat, say hi. <laughs> Can you take him out? <laughs> we have a couple of kitties. And Dracula is the youngest, and he really wants to get into this room and get some attention. <laughs> is that the boy? <laughs> Dracula is all black, yeah, so he looks like a pair of eyes in the right lightning. Right, what was I supposed to do? Oh yeah, blocking. There you go. Blocking is passive. You just and you can block its blows. most of the time you can't you can't block if the opponent is strong enough. Be careful, Kanoko. Some attacks are so powerful that they can stagger yeah. even if you block them. Some super moves are so strong they can't be blocked at all. When you're ready, proceed to the final combat. The content we came for. Yeah, what's the streamer without a cat? Seriously, it's instant content, isn't it? <laughs> Everybody loves cats. Okay. And in this game, you also do a bit of shooting. The, the shooting really is rudimentary in this game, uh, but you do get a nice variety of, of weapons, including the pistol, an automated version of the pistol, there is a plasma rifle as well. Now that you've fired all your ammunition, let's practice reloading the auto pistol. Pick up the ammo clips on the table. Basic streamer kit, PC cam, stream software, and at least a pet. Yeah, you, you need at least one. Doesn't work without a pet. Perfect. Let's try firing at some moving targets. Walk over to the table on the right. See the weapon line there? That's the plasma rifle. The plasma yeah. Rifle. Pick it up. I'll activate the training drone. And it is a, a plasma weapon, so there is a projectile, it's not hit scan or anything. So you have to time the attacks. There you go, and that's the tutorial, I think. Sure, Commander Griffin will be very pleased with your performance. 
Don't worry, Sunoco. There's a lot of rating ninety seven. What did we miss? That's annoying. Data comlink to help you if you need it. Your comlink stores lots of information about weapons, items, and mission objectives. It also has a help feature. I don't remember if I need to just quit or it proceeds automatically. I think it just carries on into the first mission. The diary, yeah. Okay, so you get a summary of stuff. This explains the HUD a bit more specifically, but it's really intuitive, so. You're excessively violent against the first drone. <laughs> Minus three points. The data console to get a summary. I think that should wrap it up, yeah. Oh, the drop weapon key. I, I don't remember that one. Okay. But you drop the, the weapon automatically if you pick up a new one. Okay. So this is the first mission. A trial run. Give me another reading. All systems nominal. She's doing fine. This is a mistake. You aren't really in a position to criticize. The syndicate is using the warehouse to shuttle contraband. The syndicate. There's always a syndicate. He failed to report in this morning. Find him and get me what I need to shut the place down. Or shut it down yourself. I'm on it. Update. Daleden latency holding at 27.1. Bioplasmic waveform stable. A class 3 adrenal spike when you gave the order, but nothing out of the ordinary. What are you sending her into? It's a simple bust, in and out. She needs a trial run. Good luck, Kanoko. It'll be fine. Yeah, look at the animation. Yeah. Listen, Kanoko. You weren't in any danger during basic training. But now that you're in the field... We better review your health display meter. Yeah, that's the health display meter over there. Essentially, green is good, red is bad. Okay. He saw us. Really? Okay, there was a taunt key, I believe. Which one was it? Hmm. I'm sure there's a taunt option. Show me ah, right. You just use the, the action key. So there. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get beat by a girl. <laughs> Hmm, that's cute. Yeah, the, the the basic guards aren't really much of a challenge. So there's two basic types of consoles you encounter. Data consoles, like this one. That give you information you need to complete the weapon. Manifest, etc, etc. Contains six grades that must have been tagged with the usual transvisual spectrum markers. Just some techno babble. You're uh, instructed to hide the crates until we reclaim them. The ammo is non-volatile, so it won't be dangerous to you or your man to handle. Your greatest danger lies in discovery uh, or failure. Uh, riveting. Okay. At the other console, just unlock the doors and you recognize the symbols on them. Yeah, the compass gives you an idea. So, the flashing yellow arc on your lower left tactical display indicates that you have a new objective, corresponding compass point, so sort of points you the right way. You're heading toward it when the arc is the top of the display. Okay. As you approach it, the compass arc will widen. Yeah, so it's uh, the smaller it is, the narrower it is, the further away you are. The arrow indicators and the compass ring tells you whether the objective is above you 
or below you because there are several levels. Yeah. Obstacles may be in your way, so direct path is not always possible. So there is some navigating to do as we go along. New objective. Let's make contact with this TI, uh, TCTF is our organization. Operative Chung, who has been investigating this warehouse for syndicate activity. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to gameplay head, etc. etc. Okay, I think we'll manage. Guy just randomly sitting in the room. Get up. Oh, that was sneaky. Okay. And you get a little puff of particles. Hey, you! <laughs> Ooh, that's a long way down. I do have a weapon, but it's only a, at least in initial stages, it's only a last resort unless you're in case you're having trouble with health and you want to avoid confrontation. Is there fall damage? Yeah, there is. There's also med kits in the form of hypo sprays that we'll uh, get to see quite soon I think oh funky music is funky hey rats that's a bit minimalistic <laughs> uh, the other UI stuff inside the compass is the ammo count yeah so um, depending on the kind of weapon uh, you've got up, the the ammo display changes. So it's different from for the manual pistol. Each of the uh, each of the shapes in there is a round. See, yeah. And the auto pistol has a different ammo count, obviously. Oh, hey, guy. Oh, that was not nice. Now don't make me hurt you. There's a hypo spray. Mom's the word, Shinatama. Anything hidden back here? No. Oh. Plasma clip. Energy cell, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hypo spray, what a way to go on energy drink cheese. <laughs> they do look a bit like energy drinks, sure. <laughs> Hey! 
Oh. Okay. That was really sneaky. Sitting by the door like this. And you use tab for the hypersprays. The Black Adder SMG. Yeah, that's... So, with the SMG, you have a, a rapid fire sort of ammo count. Let's hold on to it for a while. Oh, there's Chung. Finding time reminds me a bit of Tekken, only in third person. Um, yeah, it's supposed to evoke this sort of stuff. It was obviously inspired by uh, stuff like um, Ghost in the Shell, which really sort of gives you an idea of what they were going for. He doesn't seem very impressed by the fact that our operative is dead. Hey, it's me, Chung. Sorry about the encryption, but I hate to have this fall into the wrong hands. If you're reading this message, then I've paid the ultimate price for failing my mission. I suppose it was only a matter of time before the syndicate found out I was a mo. They're smart. Anyhow, uh, all you need to know is in my datapad. Our suspicions were correct. BGI and the syndicate are joined at the hip. Oh, the contraband leaving this warehouse is being funneled through BGI's daughter company, Musashi Manufacturing. The warehouse manager has suspended this, I uh, suspected this for some time, and has been waiting for it. Uh, it has been warning. The, the yellow font is really throwing me off. Uh, his office personnel to get out over the last month. If I'm dead, then he's probably next. He's a good man. I hope you can find him in time. Okay. I hope you have better luck than I did. Be careful. <laughs> data. Stand by. So these guys are a bit more advanced. They do block you. They tend to attack you when they get up. He's missing a chunk. <laughs> okay. Oh. You're clipping, buddy. Did we miss anything over here? No, okay. Hey! Now don't make me hurt you! Hmm. Oh, he blocked the kick. That's annoying. <laughs> Chung is dead. Griffin started you to keep investigating. Try to find the warehouse manager and get some answers. So make your way through the stuff, essentially. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let me land a kick. <laughs> See, they're really, they're really efficient in their way of attacking you when they get up. Dispose of the combination engine parts contained in shipment, etc., etc. Ways will be added to match the original recorded tonnage. Yeah, so. 
contraband shenanigans. Let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. Whoa. Jumping around like that, surely the protagonist is a Super Mario fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jump on them to finish them off. I'm trying to remember how much of this I actually played. I do remember playing some of it. Catch him, Kanoko. Don't let him reach the alarm. We got a runner. Let's use the dash. <laughs> we don't want him to activate the special console. Oh that crunch. Okay. They don't teach you how to kill people like this in training. That line is getting pretty old. Okay. Show me what you got. <laughs> Thanks. Whoa. Oh, come on, Kanako. Who? in here? Nope. Not doing too badly on health, but could be could be better I think. Oh civilians. No, we don't want to hurt innocent people. Oh. It's okay, guy. It's okay. You're safe. Can you stop squirming? Thank you. They're holding the warehouse manager upstairs. Thanks. Upstairs. Could you be a bit vaguer? Ah, oh, there he is. Don't kill him. And that sounded lethal, but 
Okay. They took over the whole place and they're loading some kind of armored truck. I think they're almost finished. You better hurry up. I'll open these doors for you. Thank you. Anything we need here? No. Whatever the manager believes that syndicate agents are about to leave the facility with an armored truck, Commander Griffin has ordered Chinatama to coordinate your operation with the TCTF. TCTF. I mean, that's a mouthful. Assault team. In the meantime, find a truck. Okay, let's find a truck. Oh yeah, I remember this. Hey, under. Hope you're lurking well. Oh, missed. That was disappointing. Two of you, eh? Definitely the place to look for an armored truck. The way you can see through the walls because of the, because of how the engine works, they've really embraced it. Yeah, they've, they're just making them subtly transparent, not just clipping through them. <laughs> That's the door we came from over there, isn't it? I definitely don't remember this in great detail. Yeah, the compass is pointing to that large door, I think. Yeah, see, the arrow disappears when you're on the right level, yeah. Okay. Kinoko, those syndicate troops are trying to remove evidence from the warehouse. I've scanned the truck and they've almost finished securing the cargo. There's no Let's dash for it. You've got to find some way to stop it from leaving the building. Oh, we're against the clock. That's not cool. I'm working here. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was the, the countdown. <laughs>
Oh, that's us. DCTF. I found a data pad. It's an encrypted shipping manifest that links the warehouse to Masashi Manufacturing. I want to go check it out. It's not far from here. Well done, Kanoko. Fall back. I'll have you picked up. Musashi is owned by BGI. According to your latest report, BGI is a suspected syndicate front. If we can prove the connection, we can move against them. I can go in and... Negative. Fall back. We can't afford to wait for another team to arrive. We have to move quickly or they're going to get away. She won't back down. Her adrenals have been rising steadily. Too much stress could destabilize her latency. <sighs> All right, Kanoko. I'm giving you a shot at this. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. We're really eager. The art style for this is something I remember really fondly. I love it. Mission complete. Okay. I also remember what the mission failed. The graphic looks like. <laughs> Squished by the truck. Yep. Sounds fishy? Yeah, it is. There's stuff going on. Good afternoon and welcome to the Masashi Heavy Manufacturing Concern. How can I be of service? Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Agent Thorst. We are with the TCTF and we hereby... Ease up, Kanoko. ...and assist all operations. We have reason to suspect that this facility is involved in the manufacture of illegal technology. Of course, officer. I'm sure I can get someone to help you. She pressed the button. Sneaky. They're here, finally. Is everything ready? You know it. They are getting out of here alive. Let me yeah, we get a new outfit. To get messy. Count on it. When I get through with them, there. Just make sure I'm not interrupted. There may be someone with them, an exceptional agent. I'm ready for anything. Hmm. I'm sure of that. There is always someone stronger. Have Muro seems. No. Awfully familiar somehow. <laughs> I'll be careful. Have a seat. Someone will be right with you. Thanks. What the? Heads up. We've got company. Hey. Whoa. You killed my buddy. That's a bit of a mess. Yeah, let's team up. Yay, team! Okay. Two people with the same shade of purple hair? No way. <laughs> So she's not a friendly? And we know she's not a friendly, but nothing to interact? No. Okay. Any pickups? Hey. Begin your search for Musashi of Musashi Manufacturer and look carefully for any evidence of illegal syndicate activity. I don't know, them firing at us seems pretty illegal to begin with. <laughs> okay, this is locked. I don't want to jump down there, get full damage. Somebody's walking up the stairs. Whoa.
That's the TGDF guy. Okay. Aha, this one unlocked. Let's go back and check. Well, a hypo. Most security doors in the plant are controlled by remote consoles. Thanks! This project runs an attempt to replace the control systems of a Type 3 battle drone with a grafted biological brain. Dun dun dun. Projections indicated that the reflex response of a direct neural link would be as much as 20 times faster than any remote or automated system. Brains were harvested for us in a hospital by surgeons willing to falsify records in exchange for high paying consultancy positions with one of our clean corporations. Wounded military and law enforcement personnel weren't given the highest priority. So they were... <clears throat> yeah. Cybergenic implants conditioned the brains, giving them the programming needed to control the drones. 16 prototypes were produced before the TCTF located the test facility. Yay! The prototype deadly brains... <laughs> deadly brains... <laughs> engaged the TCTF, providing excellent live fire field tests. Yeah, Entropy Star Hour really is inspired by um, Ghost in the Shell, definitely. Don't... Ah, oh, he's the, the, the runner type. There is a specific type of guard that just runs for the alarm console. Yeah, see? She told you. This is a wild goose chase. Explain. This whole place, it's a trap. They planted that data pad. To what end? It's a diversion. It, it has to be. The syndicate is going to try something big while my team and I are busy here. I'll try to confirm your suspicions. Until then, your orders are unchanged. Find something we can use to shut them down. Yes, sir. Hmm. Particle cover really is a nice visual cue for how much health they have. Whoa, he's firing plasma rounds. That's not cool. Dude. Didn't want to do that. Get back, Kanoko. Pick it up. And we don't have any more ammo. Great. Let's dash for it. Okay. Oh, can we save that civilian? Almost as if we needed one or something. This one is closed. Well, 
that didn't help. is locked. Um, anything special? Engineers attempt to exploit the advantages inherent in the speed of the neural link by interlocking batteries. Batteries? A free tracking ball mount plasma cannon is designed a uh, batteries, that kind of battery, to independently track and fire upon multiple targets simultaneously. In simultaneous in simulations, um, the cannons were effective, but in the heat of the battle, they f the friendly fire lockout would sometimes fail. <laughs> That's useful, uh, causing the drone weapons to uh, fire on allied units. In a few tests against the TCTF, half of the Losses were sustained by, well, were uh, we sustained were from rogue plasma batteries. <laughs> mm -hmm. Final prototypes incorporated screaming cannon mounts with auto tracking projectiles along the auto pistol mounts to provide target suppression, covering the uh, covering fire, which proved to be an effective mix for area denial and point defense. Okay. Wait, maybe that civilian can help us with the lock? No? Access denied. Oh, access denied lady, thank you. Ouch. Didn't we miss a console? New combat move learned. Triple hit haymaker. Hit the punch key three times in a row to perform the combo. Thanks. Good. That looks nice. Okay. So we're going in that direction. There's a guy with a plasma rifle. I didn't miss anything here. And this one is definitely locked, is it? Yeah. The compasses go that way. Oh. Ah, okay, I missed this one. Yeah, sorry. Oh, is she still up there? And now this one is, yeah, now we can unlock it. Back in the lobby. New objective 
received. Make your way to the manufacturing manufacturing when. If the syndicate really is losing using the facility for assembling man, I can't read today. For assembling illegal technology, that's where you find some hard evidence, okay? Aha. Uh -huh. That's what we unlocked. Alright, so we get an energy clip here. So if we deal with that guy, can we get his weapon? Upgrades. Let me see if I can. Yeah, you. Uh, if you look at this, you don't get to manually save, but there is a an auto save system. So you get checkpoints essentially, and you may have to redo. We may have to redo certain stuff over. In case we die. So. We need to get upstairs. Oh, there's a door at the end of... Yeah, sorry. I may be slightly sleepy. Yeah, that's where the compass is pointing. Okay. Ambience and uh, ominous ambience. Haymaker. Yeah, there you go. That works really nicely. Hmm. Well, at least the game seems to be generous enough with hypo sprays. This is where we came from. Yeah, this is where we came from. I don't want to pick up that cannon right now. It, it never seemed really appealing. The plasma gun seemed way cooler. You are right. Syndicate forces are attacking a research facility 10 minutes from your current position. Get out of there, fast. I sent another team, but they're gonna need your help. I'm on it. Okay. We're making headway. Thank you, Shinotama. Avoid the automatic laser defenses. Oh. And keep moving. 
Musashi Manufacturing wouldn't have set up this much security unless it had something to hide. Really? You think they're... They're hiding something? <laughs> See, the guards are really clever as well. One, one of them dropped the gun. The other one picked it up. Oh, <laughs> cute. <laughs> that was a cute combo. Wombo combo. <laughs> so we need to open that door, do we? I didn't miss anything. Oh, okay. Uh, this seems fun. So, if I remember correctly, tripping any of these lasers will activate that, that turret over there. Oh man. <laughs> you think you have enough lasers? Q Red Queens. You're all going to die down here. <laughs> okay, so that that's not gonna work. Look. How am I gonna Okay, I tripped it. Ah, that's annoying. Well, at least it only trips the security in that area. It's a good thing they have to reload the same way you do, because otherwise the gun use on their part would have been really problematic. The game is really fair in that way. So this one is tripped, or is it? Oh, it resets once you... Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Hmm. Okay, I get it. The greatest weakness of the deadly brain prototypes. That's a lovely name for this project, by the way. Stems from their control interface. Get it? Deadly brain? Stems? Haha. <laughs> Brains harvested from the trained combat personnel came from a lifetime of interacting with human physiology. Uh, once integrated into a cybernetic system, a barrage of alien data with no human frame of physical reference often overwhelmed them. <laughs> okay, so. <sighs> They're really being very thorough about describing the way the prototypes work. And if you're familiar with cyberpunk tropes, this should seem fairly run-of-the-mill. But I, I really like the use of the idea. So am I missing anything here? Do I just try to... Hmm. What if I just... No, it's not going to work like this.
Yeah, the game doesn't really run perfectly when there's a lot of gunfire, a lot of frame skips, but at least it runs, which is more than you can say in most cases. Getting this game to run was... Hmm. Oh, there's a... Is, is there a... Con there's a... Probably... Yeah. Wait. No. I thought there was a console in there or something. Maybe downstairs? Yeah, downstairs, over here, yeah, of course, and there's the turret, and now you can activate it. I lost a lot of health for that, shouldn't have. Yay! Kanoko. What is it? I used a wideband data scan to locate the control mechanism that was used to activate the facility's defenses. I'm detecting a biomechanical expert system with a full suite of interface overrides and intrusion countermeasures. Oh my. Right? I thought we tracked down the last of them. Apparently Morrow found one we missed or manufactured one. Oh the look, system. there's a brain in there. The device, we should be able to take control of the security system and clear a path to the nearest exit. Finally, some good news. Where is it? A deadly brain. <laughs> oh, we have to go back there. Thanks. Okay, and now the door unlocks, and now we have to go back. <laughs> it is a bit mazy, but that's fine. Oh, he has a plasma rifle. It's a good thing he missed us. Oh, he blocked it. Come on. <laughs> Look at the way that hypo slid down the stairs. You gotta hand it to Alarm Guy, he has a keen sense of style. Oh, come on, don't gang up like this. Whoa! He knows some special moves. So definitely that way then.
downstairs, yeah. Camo clip. Well, we have to go further down. Wait, I'm confused. Oh, right there. Whoa, guy! I'm unarmed. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> Give me just a sec. I'll be right with you. There's the deadly brain. I warned them not to activate it. It will kill us all. Run while you still can. Why did you build it in the first place? <laughs> you know. Forget it. Just get out of Oh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Kirkland, hey. Interesting retro game. I don't think I've ever heard of it. Yeah, this is a, a really cool game. A bungee did this. Before they did, um, before they did Halo, and it's really sad that we didn't get a sequel or anything because I would have loved to see more of this. They introduced really innovative animation system for this, and it really is a shame. Uh, Syndicate have activated the facility's deadly brain. Despite the considerable hazards involved, you must shut it down. Who knows what damage that thing could cause if it gains access to the external information node? Oh no, not the external information node. So we have to get to the brain. Wait, did I miss anything in there? I was preoccupied with. Wait, was he called Dr... Wait a second, I'm... Kafeynikov? Was he? I, I totally missed it. Hmm. Ah, okay. Over here. Deadly brain is deadly. Definitely sounds deadly. It's broken out of the Musashi intranet and is trying to gain access to the local TCTF public security node. Turn off those breakers fast. Uh okay. Game saved. That, that bodes well. Oh man, the game is really chugging. Okay, so we have to turn off all of these. Let me, let me see if I can avoid the lasers. I don't want to activate the security because the game really lags when there's firing. Okay. Did we miss one? One more? Mm-hmm. Wait, that goes... He actually says something. Is this a Windows game? Yeah, um... They only released it on Windows. I, I think on the PS2 as well. Definitely in that era. Um... It is really a pain to get it running on, on modern Windows, though. Okay, so... Uh, rinse and repeat, are we? Mm-hmm.
cooking resist something. My set of charm, I think it said. He's being really clever, but we don't get to read the dialogue for some reason. I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's the way it's running right now. Okay. Twan's feet. Well, who can blame him? Complete the final sequence and shut that brain off for good. I am a brain. Had the brain no feet? Okay, so not tripping the the security is gonna be a bit difficult with this. We have to use the dash. Yeah. Ooh, that was close. That should do it. Yay. Huzzah. How was she holding up? Well, according to Shinatama, her deity and latency has crept up to 29, but her bioplasmic waveforms are holding. So she's still stable? As so far as we can tell, yes. But prolonged stress could be dangerous. She insisted. And this is why I was against moving to phase three. We have no right to put that in. I'm getting tired of listening to your self-righteous tirades. Kanoko is as much your creature as she is mine. Hmm. The end mission graphics are really nice. Chapter 3 Puzzle Pieces The main gates and the security doors have been locked through the security controls, and something is keeping our agents. Look at how cool we are. Get it on. Oh. Uh. Can we not do the gun thing? Let's fight. Yay, cool music. Love the soundtrack to this. Very proper, very apt. He, he does seem to be able to block most of the stuff. He's quicker than some of them, but not that tougher. Let's do the haymaker, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he is tougher, definitely. I don't know, but not doesn't seem to be that... Whoa, I want to know that move. Wait, is he? Yeah, he's regenerating. I think. But not that much. He's going for the gun. Oh, he's gonna beat us. That's okay, we have a save. We're not keeping... A death counter, are we? Ah, oh, violence. Of course. Let's try it again. He's a bit of a mini boss, essentially. Uh, thus far, the stream has been 70% Goomba stomping. <laughs> it's time to go after Pinky. <laughs> Yeah. 
yeah, the game really isn't that hard, you know. In case you fail the first time around, you just... Even though he's tough to beat, you just get to redo it. No harm done. You don't lose any progress with this one, at least. You can't block the super move. That's annoying. I suppose I could get the gun, but... Let me try to do it without it. Oh, hypo. Let's pick up that hand. Yeah, look, he, the more he loses health, the more he starts blocking. Oh! Stronger and stronger. Hey, that's no fair. Okay. You're strong, but this isn't over. Not by a long shot. Oh, of course we didn't beat him. She's with them. Who is with them? The agent you warned me about. I couldn't take her. Where is she? She's on her way. Hmm. Let me just take a look at something. When it came out in 2001, I was playing lots of Neverwinter Nights that year. Yeah. That's a good game to play, Kirtland. Kinoko. Gonna pass out. Have a good one. Uh, thanks for stopping by, Joe. Uh, thanks for, thanks for watching. Thank you for your eyeballs. Have a good one. His planet needs him. <laughs> look, are we gonna look ridiculous picking up this one? Yeah, of course, look at it. Look, wave motion cannon. We can barely walk with it. I suppose it's only useful if you want to pick it up during the fight, but it doesn't have any rounds anymore, so... Why would you want to do this? Okay. Uh, syndicate groups have locked down all the floors in this wing of the lab. Surveillance scans indicate teams of strikers are now sweeping every floor and killing scientists. But of course they are. Stop them if you can. Sure thing. Game saved. Thank you. See, th this is what I was talking about. Look at how little there is in terms of of detail. But you don't need more. Um, it looks really cool. Look, that's just a, a texture that's being plastered over this, being used over and over. And minimalist, really nice.
one of three. That's not going to be a nuisance at all. Okay, some scientists. Are we going to be helpful? Here, take these, hypos. these hypos, thank you. Much obliged. No? Anything? Who's firing? Oh, this guy. Get up, Kanoko. Oh, we died. I, I wasn't paying attention to the health bar. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn, that was annoying. Okay, we just saved so, so it's fine. I, sh I should pay attention to the health bar. I should have taken the hypos right away. Okay, so almost out of health. Let's not die. Thanks. Don't shoot in the scientist, dude. The collision system in this is really clever. Throwing one guy over another. Oh man. Okay, one one more try. The game saved us at the point where we don't have that much health. Hey. Oh, come on, man, that's gonna be tough to do. Hmm. Thanks, game. Thanks for saving right there. <laughs> Okay, let me try a slightly different approach. Oh, I don't get any hell, uh, any ammo. Let me try to be slightly sneaky. Let's compartmentalize. Door strats. Let's open this up and get the hypos. No, 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 Okay, he, he noticed us. That's gonna. Let's try not to lose any health, maybe. Okay, that's a bit simpler. Oh, thanks, Streamlabs. We're almost dead.
Okay, so that's something at least. So, can we get the hypos before the other guy shoots at us? See, the game knows you're gonna need them. That's why they're there. Here, take these hypos. Thank you. That's a bit more like it. Not much more, but... Okay. Aha, uh -huh, so that's this level. What about the other side? Anybody in there? Any more hypos? Here, take this hypo. Thank you. No, no, no. no, no, no. Yeesh. Hmm. That could have been better. There goes the hypo, yeah. Okay. The SOD project is an attempt to recreate human physiology with artificial materials. This is similar to the cyborg implant protocols developed for the marionette project, but it calls for a design that uses no human cells. Wait, what? SOD technology has reached its third design generation and prototype SODs are in use in a wide range of industries including law enforcement, firefighting, manufacturing and aviation. Okay. So it's going to be a war of attrition with the way we have health management right now. Let's go upstairs. And I'm almost out of coffee. Incoming compass data. Thanks. Okay, they're all gonna be armed, aren't they? Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, keep, they're not shooting. The puppeteer, I mean, the marionette project. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a fine line between ripping something off and homage. I think this is Hi there. Why don't you take this ammo clip? clearly an homage. Oh, you killed a scientist. Anything useful? Here, take this force field. Okay, force field. Yeah, alright. So we do get shields, quote unquote. And uh, it doesn't drain unless you, you waste it. Uh, impact, gunfire. I think. Look at the effect. Look at how cool it is. Yeah, look at it. It looks like a dune shield. Exactly. The slow blade penetrates the shield. Is 
Wait, what am I doing? The console is supposed to be in there. Yeah. Upstairs. Upstairs. I've got a new heading for you. Make up your mind, Shinotama. Do any of you guys have guns? Let's jump in. Ugh. Don't kill me, will ya? A hypo would have been nice. Three out of three. And music's getting busy. We're not really doing well on the stop them from king scientist, killing scientist part. There goes most of our shield, but you know, that's what it's there for. No, buddy. You are. the door what's in there that's the roof okay New mission objective. make her across the roof and get to the top of the security control tower wasn't our security stf officers can storm the lobby hmm unidentified types of operatives so new enemies No more gray. I think we're in. <laughs> we're in Oz now. Yeah, look, suddenly everything's vibrant and stuff. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was gonna. I was really close. <laughs> I was gonna just drop off. Maybe let's not fight here. No? Okay. Hey. Oh, that was sneaky. Mm -hmm. 
ready to lose? <laughs> Is he wearing... Yeah, I think he's... He detonates if you kill him. That's the new type of enemy. He's wearing a... A bomb pack, essentially. And this one doesn't. Oh, there he, there he goes. Yeah. In five seconds, you and I will both be dead. The entire tower will be vaporized. <laughs> Kanoko? Oh. <laughs> That's one way to sow things. <laughs> that was really cute. Game saved. Thank you. Hey, fellow TCTF person. Keep your head down. There are still some strikers on the upper floors. Thank you. Thanks. That's that's useful. Uh, good work, Kanoko. You might need this. <sighs> See what I mean? How do we climb up? Uh huh, okay. Over there. There, there's one more of those. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> oh, I wanted to pick up that plasma rifle. Nothing in here. Let's see if we can pick it up quickly. Fighting two of those is not going to be easy. Color coded for your convenience, of course, and these are tougher than... Oh, that was bad. Okay. Close, though. Close. Yeah, this is where we saved. Okay. Here, take these hypos. No, yeah, they're, they're really, really tough. Keep your head down. There are still some strikers on the upper floors. Yeah, yeah, I know. Whoa. Wait, did he just spawn in? That's not fair, game. That's... That's 
dash for it. The stairs over there. Yeah, over there. Okay. No. No, oh, over here. Okay. There's one of those strikers that's on the upper floors. <laughs> oh, come on. Did I miss a hypo downstairs? Wow. Let me try and go and get it. Thinking how good this would be with added terrain destructibility, like the first Max Payne. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a bit too early on to do, I guess, but the engine is a bit more simplistic than that. It really focuses on um, the animations that Kanoko does and enemies as well. They're really nicely animated as well. Well. Come on, game. Where's that hypo? Was it over there? Hmm. Am I imagining things? Didn't I? Maybe I'm imagining it. Okay, anyway. Let's not fight at the door. Random hypo. Hey. You guys, where did you come from? You're weak. Ha. Who's weak now? So there. <laughs> I 
And that's the third one. I too immediately inject myself any random high point I find on the ground. <laughs> That's the door. Okay. Vago Biotech. Life is for everyone. Lab management is pleased to announce that this facility has gone 20, uh, 263 yeah, days without an accident. <laughs> Uh, the safety of humans is just one of the many reasons why Vago is the industry leader in employee satisfaction. Remember, work hard, but work safe. What a pep talk. New objective data. More and his team are loading their stolen technology on the rear loading dock. Find them and stop them. Let's run at each other. See who wins. Oh, deadly goo is deadly. Oh, this is gonna be really tough. Let's try to deal with these one at a time. <laughs> he just got up and there he goes. Now, can we take this without... Oh, that's... Look at, how am I not... Yeah, okay. That's certainly simpler. See, sometimes shooting does make sense. Let me just take a look. About two hours. Okay. Let's try to finish this mission at least. Ah, over there, okay. Let's dash for it. Go 
That wasn't fair. Come on. Look at it. That he punched us into the into the goo, and now we have to do this all over. Really, over here? Way over here? Yeah. Thanks. Good work, Kanoko. You might need this. Keep your head down. There's still some strikers on the upper floors. That's just annoying. <laughs> oh. That's just not fair. Okay, well that went by quick. Hmm, okay. this area okay yeah he just spawned in that's <laughs> see the game does get progressively tougher it's it's easy to die and you lose progress So and one more on the third floor, right? Plasma fire. There's that random hypo. That's the hypo effect when you when you're close to full health, as Shinotama said. Yeah. Back there was it? Yeah. Was that door? Oh, yeah, over there.
clash of festival justice. Let's try to run away. Yeah, I think there should be a checkpoint as well. You're right. Makes sense. Because look at look at this. You just fall off and done. Don't fall. How many more of these guys? Now where's that annoying guy? The explosive pack. Yeah, we read this objective. Oh, kids, are, kids are getting antsy. Oh, there he goes. Did he just spawn in as well? I would love to throw him in the goo, but... No! So I, do I just drop off? Wasn't there a, a neater way of getting here? Okay, that works as well. Okay. I think game wanted you to jump and yeah, I think so too. Some platforming. Well, I'm not really sure I was in the mood for that. But you don't get any fall damage when you do that as well. So, okay, so that's mission complete, and that's mission four. Let's look at intro. Be using the chaos to cover his escape. 
sneaky Murrow. Murrow, stop! Killer, I have a plane to catch. Oh, come on, don't be that way. Okay, so is this, let me take a look at the, yeah, this is the fourth one, one, two, three, four, okay, so the game saved us, I think this is a good place to stop, um, 